Right, so in, <laughs> in two minutes of video, he saw what was close to two weeks, not all, not all at once, two weeks on and off, um, painting and lining. A lot of evenings, um, I'll admit it, probably if I was to do it all in one go and I uh, was still self-isolating, it would probably only take, I could probably do it within a week quite easily. But uh, came out of self-isolation, so quite a bit <laughs> busier now. But yeah, where do you look at that? Now, you might be wondering what tools I used to get such fine lines. And uh, I will show you that now. So yes, masking tape um, was used for the uh, two main colours, which is that plum and the spilt milk. The, the first layers that you saw at near the start of the time lapse. I, for the less fine stuff, you may have also seen me use this. This is a a lining pen. Um, in the olden days, draftsmen uh, used this. A uh, draftsman used that uh, in drawings and things. And basically, you put a little bit of paint in the tip, and uh, it sort of works a little bit like a pen. Now this cost me, when I got it a while ago, I think it was like seven pounds. Um, but it, it doesn't quite go fine enough. Uh, I think it's only, it can only do about as fine as three quarters of a millimeter. Which is when I decided to get this. Now this is a very fancy thing here. Easy liner pens. Uh, by Chris Arundel. Let's do a little unboxing. <laughs> you get your instructions. And inside this kit, you basically get a bunch of nozzles that are very fine and designed, uh, designed for you to put paint inside. So they have a little reservoir and then they come out of a very fine nozzle of a pre-specified uh, diameter. See, we've got one millimeter, so that'll let paint out at exactly one millimeter. 0.75 millimeters, that's about as fine as this will go, but this is exact. And 0.5 millimeters. Now, this is the really useful one 0.25 millimeters. That's how I got those. You see, those in incredibly fine lines of plum there. How much did it cost me? Well, it wasn't cheap. 40 pounds for this. Um, <laughs> fair bit of money for a painting thing. But then it works and it's, uh, it's made this a lot easier. There is an alternative to using the Chris Arundel Easy Liner uh, lining pads if you want to get these lines but it takes an awful lot longer and isn't and the results I, I don't think are quite as fine now I'm gonna sh uh, show you a coach I made earlier <laughs> now this is I'm basically at this stage by putting this on the side of uh, sticking the sides on to the interior of this coach and adding glazing and so on. It's basically, it's basically not far off this. But this, uh, the way that I did these uh, lines, these really fine lines, before I got the set, was with masking tape. Um, you place two, two bits, layers of, uh, lots of masking tape next to each other, really close together, and uh, you can paint a fine line. On camera, it probably there probably doesn't look like much difference, but uh, in person you can see that it's a bit rougher, and it also takes an awful lot longer. Like just putting the masking tape on for all of those lines <laughs> takes a lot of time. Anyway, I think that's it for this part. In the next part, you will see this, the sides and things glued onto the sides and so on. Uh, glued onto 
the interior of the coach and so on. And uh, I think we might attempt to do some lighting, but we'll see. The next part will be in a couple of weeks because I'm going on holiday. But yes, see you then. <laughs>